I love Byzantium. Where else are you going to find art, culture, working toilets? I can't wait to see those outfits. What can I do for you? Here's my last estimate. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back! I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. If I were an enterprise... Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time... I can... I just have to... Actually do it now. Y you know, there's there's a part Jun Lei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. The next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? I swear, next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her over. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark.
Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. All right. She's on her way. How do I look? Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I didn't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He's probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Captain, we gotta talk about... about what you did to June Lei. I don't got words. She was the one good thing... I'm leaving. I don't know. I don't know. This isn't something you can talk your way out of. You... One day, maybe you'll realize what you... Goodbye, man. We'll get the kitchen back to you soonish, promise. My father and I were often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, you think Groundbreaker pays for itself, someone's got to cover the bills, when I chafed against his deference to the board. Sounds like he was afraid of him. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. <laughs> Isn't this swell? I appreciate you making the time for this. What about your mama? I, I don't mean to pry, you just hardly mention her and I I've been wondering. She passed when I was small. Taught me how to change a fuse on her deathbed. Even sick, she was patient with me. She kept exhaustive journals of my childhood, my father said. Like she was A-B testing child rearing. Must be you got that exacting nature from her. Exacting is a kind way to put it. Inflexible, my father would have said. Bullheaded. Cold. Do return in one piece, Captain.
Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of a Certainly, Cap. What would you like to? A neutron walks into a bar and asks, How much for a Rizzo's Roman something? Leering, the bartender replies, For you, no charge. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. My pleasure. As you wish. I request. Looking for some Spacer's Jaw? It's recommended by 11 out of 10 Spacer's Choice medical professionals. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Make a choice. Spacer's Choice. Uh, have a look. Happening on Terra One. Last I heard, the board was. Rizzo's mock apple.
Okay, Captain, she's gone. I'm near about vibrating, I'm so excited. So she got here, and the first thing she said was, Oh, you smell nice, like mock apples. And I was like, yeah, new soap. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about... The things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She, she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! <laughs> It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Jun Lei at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy screaming to my pillow for like an hour.